today I am bringing you a new tag that I was making up because there's the Seven Deadly Sins book tag thing. So I thought there's Seven Deadly Sins and there are Seven Heavenly Virtues. So why not do the polar opposite, the Seven Heavenly Virtues book tag thing? Yeah. So I had to write this down because I can't remember them. But the first one is chastity. Um, this one is going to be a book relationship that you appreciate in its purest form and it's just beautiful. So, the book relationship I chose was Liesl and Rudy from The Book Thief. They just have such a beautiful friendship and it's just so young and innocent. And like, in my heart, if this book didn't end the way it did, Rudy and Liesl would have been together forever and I would have loved it. But it was emotionally traumatising instead. So yes, that's my chastity. Thing. The next one is temperance. I know that one. Temperance. Uh, give an example of a situation when you didn't give in to your book buying urges. So, my situation was just, 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 just after I finished The Raven Boys by Maggie Stevata. Maggie Stevata? She, I was reading it and I was loving it. So, me and my friends had this thing when we go to coffee and then go to Waterstones, which is a big bookstore chain in the UK and we just walk around Waterstones for ages which is usually quite tempting but this was especially just like the Dream Thieves was there and so was Blue Lily Lily Blue and I was just like I really want them but I'm not going to buy them I'm not going to give in I'm not going to do it but I was so close so close to giving in but I didn't because I'm strong I wasn't strong when I actually bought Raven Boys oh well next Charity a character who sacrificed like her the most kind of okay just a character sacrifice that you really appreciated that's what it would be a character sacrifice you really appreciated and i chose the character sacrifice of darren from the saga of darren shan spoiler alert this is the last like bind up of the book so this last bit he like sacrifices himself twice to try and change the course of history and the future and he gave up so much in the first book like Darren it just gives up so much in the first book he gives up so much and then by the end he gives up everything and it's just so ah oh, he is such a good character and sacrificed so much for his friends for the world for the future for the past it's just well done Darren just finished a reread of that series that's why it's a bit <laughs> okay next one what was I on charity Diligence, a character who didn't give up in the face of adversity. And I chose Annabeth slash Percy, I think it was more Annabeth, in The House of Hades by Rick Riordan. This is the fourth book in the Heroes of Olympus series. And if you've read this book, you know the struggle that Percy and Annabeth had in this book and what they went through to get to the end. So I'm not saying anymore because it's the fourth book in the series. But just, they didn't give up, and I really appreciate it. Next, Patience. A book slash series you are glad you persevered through and now you really enjoy. And that would be The Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. When I first bought this book, I couldn't finish it at all. But then I saw the, f no, I saw the film, tried to read the book, fared miserably. Watched the film again kind of saw some booktube talking about City of Heavenly Fire's upcoming release and I picked it up again and like I read it so quickly I had to go buy the next five, four books immediately so glad I finally picked it up and persevered through it because it was so worth it and I really enjoyed the series and I really love the series now like Cassandra Clare she is in the process of getting her own shelf on my bookshelf because well, currently she doesn't have enough books out, but she will when she releases The Dark Artifice and the rest of the Magisterium series and The Last Hours and The Wicked Powers, and it's going to be amazing. So yeah, Cassandra Clare's Mortal Instruments series. Okay, Kindness. I keep losing my place on my page because I'm a bit weird. Kindness, a book character you want to be friends with despite any, like, shortcomings, like, disgusting shortcomings, where you feel really like, oh my god, that's awful. But I still want to try and be friends with you. And I chose Kane from the Gone series. Kane Soren. Like, he's horrible. So horrible in most of the books. 
it takes him a long time to even do anything remotely good and even when he does do good it doesn't work out and like but i really would love to be friends with kane because even though he's a cruel person i just think he'd be cool to have a chat with why not i'd be friends with kane so the last one i don't actually have the book i want to talk about for this one it is humility a book you respect despite its shortcomings so the book i chose is allegiant i have insurgent i'll show you that <clears throat> is allegiant by veronica roth this is insurgent but allegiant pretend it's here um and like i didn't enjoy this book i didn't like the ending i didn't like the dual point of view but i kind of i respect allegiant because Veronica Roth did something different with the end of the series. Like, if you read a lot of series, they all end on such a high note, and I'm really glad she didn't do that. I really respect her choices for that. I respect that she tried to do the dual point of view. It just didn't work for me. But overall, I respect that book, but I just feel like it had a lot of shortcomings. So, yes, that is the Seven Heavenly Virtues book tag, and I tag everyone because i made it up and i don't have any specific people i want to do this so yeah that's that i will see you on tomorrow with a nanowrimo update 10 so i will see you then goodbye